completing the square, something that you need to know for GCSE maths. So completing the square is just basically a method of changing an expression, an equation, into the form x plus a squared plus b. Let's take a look at an example. We might have something like x squared plus 2x. Now in this video, I'm just going to try to explain the fundamental method to do this in a simple way and as quickly as possible. So x squared plus 2x. I'll explain why we do this in just a second. x squared. We're going we're gonna to make a bracket. And we're going to get rid of the square. And we're going to divide this. We're going to divide this by 2. So here it's just going to become 1, right? x plus 1. And then this square that we used to have over here before, that's going to move over here now. So it's going to be x plus 1 squared. And remember here, we just divided 2 by 1. And then we're going to square this 1. one well, um, 1 squared, it's just going to be 1, right? It's going to be minus 1. By the way, this minus, it's always a minus. So it might be more accurate to represent this as minus b, because it's, it's always got to be a minus. There's no buts, there's no catches, there's nothing. It's just always a minus. And I'll explain why this is in just a second. And you'll notice we've simplified it into the correct form. So, why is this the case? Well, if we take x plus 1 squared minus 1, right? We need this minus 1 for a very important reason. Imagine we don't have the minus 1. Let's try to expand it. By the way, if you expand it, it's not just x squared plus 1 squared. You don't just put the powers in like that, right? I hope you guys know at least that much. You need to do x plus 1, and you're multiplying it by itself two times. That's what the squared means. Well, that's going to give us x times x, which is x squared, x times 1, which is x, x times 1 again, which is again x, and 1 times 1, which is 1. Simplify that to become x squared plus 2x plus 1. You'll notice our original equation was x squared plus 2x. We did not have this 1 here before, and that's why we have this minus 1. And that's why also why it's always going to be a minus, because we're always just getting rid of this new number that gets created. Let's take a look at one more example. Uh, x squared minus 8x. All right, we take our brackets again, and we divide this by 2, remember? So that's going to become 8 divided by 2, which is 4, and the square moves over here. Then we square this inner number, minus 4. We square that, that's going to become 16. Remember, it's always a minus, so minus 16. Let's just fact check this. x minus 4 squared is just x minus 4 times x minus 4. x, minus, x times x is x squared. Minus 4 times uh, x is minus 4x. Minus 4 times x again is minus 4x. Minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. Remember, minus and a minus makes a positive. We can simplify that out to become x squared minus 8x plus 16. You'll notice we didn't have the 16 here originally, but we, now we have one here. So we need to do the minus 16 at the end, and that's why we have the minus at the end. Okay, one more example. We have x squared plus uh, 2x. 2ax this time, actually. Let's make it a bit more harder. What would it be? Well, we have this a over here, right? So that's going to be included in the brackets when we make it. It's going to be x plus, well, 2 divided by 1 is 1, so 1a. One we usually don't write the 1, so it's just going to become x plus a. Remember, the squared moves over, and this a is going to get squared. And a squared is just a squared. <laughs> and minus always, remember? So that's just going to become minus a squared. Let's fact check this x plus a squared is just x plus a times x plus a. That's going to be x squared plus ax plus ax plus a squared. That's going to be x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Well, we're correct up to here, but now we have this plus a squared, right? And that's why we have this minus a squared here, just to get rid of the uh, last thing that gets added in the end. What if instead of having just two terms, we have three terms, one more at the end? Uh, for example, we might have x squared plus 4x minus 1. Minus 1. Oh, well, the, the method is pretty much identical. We are going to have uh, x as usual. And divide this by 2, so plus 2. And then we square it. And remember, 2 squared, that's going to be 4, right? Well, it's always a minus here, so minus 4. Let's fact check this. And also, this is the key difference. When you have the third term like so, we carry this down and we add it over here. And if we fact, if we simplify this, that'll just become x plus 2 squared minus 4 minus 1, so minus 5. Let's simplify it. Let's fact check this. x plus 2 squared is just x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. It's going to be 4x 
uh, x squared plus 4x and then plus 4. We don't have this 4 here, but initially we had a minus 1 in our original equation, but now we have a plus 4. How do we go from plus 4 to minus 1? You need to minus 5, hence the reasoning for, reason for the presence of this minus 5. So when you have a third uh, term, you just add it on. That's all. pretty much all you have to do. In the next video, we'll look at when the coefficient of x squared does not equal 1. So up till now, we always had just 1x squared. Over here, 1x squared. 1x squared. But what if the coefficient is, for example, 2x squared, something, something, something? What would we do? Because the process is slightly different. Check the next video for this.